Sorry about my mic in this video. It kinda glitches out at some points and I had to put a lot of noise suppression on it in post. Hey guys, it's me, Nelsios, awesome. I'm here and welcome back. Uh, I'm supposed to be on a break, but Sega and IGN, I guess, wants to keep on showing more Sonic Ventures, which I'm not gonna complain too much about. I mean, a lot of people are gonna complain about it. A lot of people are complaining a lot about Sonic Frontiers. I feel like Sonic Frontiers doesn't look as bad as everyone's been saying. I mean, it looks fine. I feel like a lot of the hate on Sonic Frontiers is very unwarranted, but yeah. Uh, we're gonna see the combat today, I'm excited. You know, usually most Sonic games don't have much of combat, so this is interesting. Uh, I assume we're gonna see like fighting the big giant things. Other people may not be excited, but I'm excited. Now I'll play this game when it comes out. It looks like it's gonna be fun, or at least I'm gonna have fun in it. Like I'm not, I'm not as strict on this game as other people seem to be. Five, four, three, two, one. Zero. All right. Oh, more of this, IGN like first continues on with yet another this footage. Sonic gameplay. This time, focusing on combat. Sonic is up against an all-new set of baddies, some of which are among the most massive. Bosses <laughs> Sonic's up against a bunch of baddies. Of For now, though, enjoy the combat of Sonic. Oh, I, I like like the view from really high up, like that. That's really cool. I hope there's a camera mode in the game. All right, this thing, this like. <clears throat> It seems to be like a whole bunch of different orbs kind of put together. I don't know what that is. What? What is happening? Ah, oh, that's what I wanted to see, the circling around the enemies. Dang, these enemy designs are... Like... You... Unique, very interesting. Like, I wouldn't really expect these type of designs from a Sonic game. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. The way, it, the way it, like, opens up and then turns into, like, a blade. That's cool. So there's, like, some kind of XP. It does kind of look like a Metroid game. It's very, like interesting to have combat in a sonic game like more combat than usual sonic has i kind of like that whoa dang he's not like a flurry of kicks uh, the way the water moves around when you're when you're in the water is really satisfying to me. whoa whoa i like those things those are cool what are these creatures I want to know, like, I want to know the lore of this game, of, like, like, island and stuff. Like, that's one of the things that I'm interested in. The lore with these enemies and stuff. It's not, like, the usual Eggman thing. Oh, yeah. This is, this is, like, kind of cool. This is what, this is what I wanted to see more of. Destroying these giant things. Those not seem too difficult, though. Overall, it looks like a very easy game, not gonna lie. Like, the game looks very... Very easy to play. But I guess that's fine. Oh no, it's feet. I don't know, maybe there's a difficulty setting in this game so that they're more difficult. Or... I don't know. I don't know why they, they made this an IGN exclusive thing, because I don't really think IGN is really the best at presenting things like this. Again, like... I want to know kind of the story purpose of these giant monsters. Dang, these uh, these things are very short. <laughs> yeah, I wish they were longer. There's a lot of over hate for Sonic Frontiers, but it doesn't help that like the person playing isn't really doing it that well. <laughs> One thing I would say is that I would really like some more fluid animations for Sonic. Maybe even had like some physics based movement or something. I don't know, it's not gonna be the best game ever. It's not gonna be anywhere near as good as Breath of the Wild, <laughs> but I feel like I'm still gonna enjoy playing this game. Like, I'm, I'm still gonna like it, and I'm still gonna have fun. Especially just running around. Like, most of this game for me is just gonna be running around the world, and like, just fighting random enemies, and just like, doing random things. 
And then, I don't know, whatever the story mode is gonna be, because they haven't really said anything about the story. They are doing like a showcase of the gameplay and stuff before a proper trailer. Because they've showed some teaser trailers, but all of a sudden they're just doing like gameplay showcases when it doesn't feel like the game is done yet. They should wait until they're more done with the game and then do a like a proper trailer that shows gameplay and my like, cutscenes and story and combat and like they're showing it off too early. The way they're going about it right now is weird. It feels like they just gave IGN like a very early copy of the game and IGN was just like, yeah, let's show it off. <laughs> Ooh, I like the dodging. I just realized the dodging. I like that, that's cool. I like the enemies, I like the enemy designs. Those ones that kind of extend their arms that are like spikes. I like those are those are cool, I like those ones. Um, my least favorite one has to be the one that's just a bunch of like orbs. Uh, that one's kind of ugly. <laughs> but I, I like the other enemies that they've shown. I think this giant thing is going to be interesting to fight, but I, I would hope when I play the game, I get more immersed in it so I can really feel the height of this giant thing. But uh, yeah, the, I like the enemy design because usually when I see a Sonic game, I just see the same kind of Eggman style, like the same style robots over and over. So it's cool to see more unique enemy types. I know Jimmy says it looks like Pokemon, but it kind of looks more, I don't know, it looks very alien, met. Yeah, Mo Metroid-y, which I'm not going to complain about. I mean, I like Metroid. I played a lot of Metroid Dread, and I like the designs, like the designs of the enemies and stuff. So I'm not like Breath of the Wild too excited, but I'm like excited. I want to play it. I hope people are less harsh on it when it does release. Because I don't know, right now it just feels like a bunch of Sonic fans are just being really critical and strict with this early gameplay footage. <laughs> I mean, I, I get some people's complaints that it doesn't really look like a Sonic level. Like it doesn't fit the Sonic aesthetic, but I feel like, I feel like that's kind of on purpose. Cause I feel like it's supposed to be Sonic is in a place that's unfamiliar to him. Like he's in a new place that's nothing like any of the Sonic games before. I feel like I give it a pass. Also people complain about like not, there not being like any loops in the terrain or anything. But when you think about it, loops, like in an open world game, having loops just spattered out, spattered about in the terrain, there's no purpose to them. They're, they would kind of just be there to be there, you know? Like if you really think about it, the loops don't have that much of a purpose in an open Sonic game compared to like a 2D game. Now, unlike last time, I didn't really have Jeremy or anyone to kind of talk about the game with or like, like also react to it i mean caleb was here but he was talking in a discord channel in a like no mic channel this is different because it's just me by myself i'm not bouncing off of their ideas or anything like their reactions their thoughts it's kind of just my own thoughts my own take on sonic frontiers and <clears throat> basically my opinion of the last video you know the last video the gameplay unfinished it's not, it's unpolished, but it looks promising to me. A lot of people, I keep seeing so many YouTube videos saying that it looks bad, it looks rough. I know I saw one video that's like, stop giving Sonic Frontiers the benefit of the doubt. Stop wanting to think positively about a game is basically what I got from that no youtube drama with that person or anything but i feel like the game looks good i mean it's not it doesn't look the best like i don't know i never went into sonic frontiers expecting a triple a like masterpiece breath of the wild i'm not expecting anything on that level my bar is just set at blue hedgehog runs fast and i got a big open area to run fast and that's what I'm excited for. And now we got to see more of the combat. And honestly, the combat looks fun too. I like the combat. I like the enemies. I feel like the enemies are very unique for a Sonic game. And I will be very vocal about the fact that I like this game. I like the look of Sonic Frontiers. And 
at this point, it's a very unpopular opinion on the internet right now. Good thing I'm not like that much of a well-known channel because I'd probably get a bunch of hate comments just for saying this for some reason. Because there's just an overwhelming majority of hate for this game. But I, I will stand by the fact that I think this game looks good. Or I think this game will be good. Maybe it could or should be delayed. But even if it isn't, I feel like the gameplay that I'm seeing right now, I feel like I would still have fun. Like, I feel like I would still like the game. I would still have fun, even if it was the way it is right now. But it's coming out at the end of the end of the year. Hopefully they polish it up a bit more, make it a bit nicer. You know, they got to do a proper trailer. And I don't know. I like Sonic Frontiers. Like, I'm excited. I will stream it on the channel when it comes out because I think I'll have a bunch of fun playing it. One thing is I've heard that, like, the realistic environment doesn't look good. Like, a lot of people are upset that it doesn't look like a Sonic game. Like, it's not the same kind of art style that a Sonic game would usually have. I do get the point some people have been saying that it kind of just looks like one of those fan games. Uh, which is kind of what I felt. I mean, it does kind of look like a fan game, but I feel like I like the game. I mean, I've played fan games like that. I've played open area Sonic fan games and I've liked them. I've had fun playing them. They're part of the reason why I've always wanted an open world Sonic game. I hope it gets more polished, but I like the environment. I like the realistic direction they're going in this big open area. I feel like even if people end up not liking this game, I feel like this is the direction that Sega should go with Sonic. And yeah, like I said before, the thing with the realistic terrain is that maybe it's done on purpose. Like people say it doesn't look like a Sonic game, but maybe that's the point. I feel like maybe Sonic is supposed to feel like he's in this mysterious island, or the Starfell Islands are what they're called. He's in this mysterious, like, place that's kind of new to him. It doesn't have loops. It doesn't have, well, I, I guess it still has rails and like things everywhere, like random Sonic things everywhere. Which I, I do get that those things aren't very well built into the environment. They do feel kind of manually put there like just the random rails all over the place and the random like springs and stuff i feel like they definitely could do a better job of mixing that in with the realistic environment more like the sonic stuff and the realistic environment could be blended together a lot better but even the way it is right now i still think it looks nice i feel like it's supposed to feel like a new place that sonic isn't really used to so that's why everything looks kind of different than what a Sonic game would usually be. Like, story purposes, you know? Honestly, people just modding the model from the movie probably would fit, like, the realistic environment a lot more. <laughs> I'm uh, interested in the combat. I'm glad to see more of a combat in this game. I'm glad that it's more than just... Wow, that audio quality is really bad. <laughs> if you're watching this video and for some reason you're new to my channel, uh, that is not the normal quality of my audio. I'm just making that known. <laughs> my mic was just on the fritz that day, okay? But yeah, the only way I can really think of to fix this is to just like dub over the audio or something, I don't know. But yeah, I'm glad that it's more than just homing attacks, just like spin dash and stuff. I, I hope you can spin dash in this game. They they haven't shown any spin dashing with which makes me a bit sad, but it's fine, I guess. But yeah, overall I look forward to this game and I'm excited to be able to play it and run around in Sonic, just jump around and do things, explore the environment, hopefully get faster and faster as the game progresses. And stay tuned if you want to see me playing this game on the channel. But for now, that is going to be the end of this reaction video to Sonic Frontiers. If you like this video and if you like my take on Sonic Frontiers, the gameplay, and the combat, if you agree with me, and even if you disagree with me, then remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to know when I upload a new video, and make sure to check out my random channel, Nelson the Random, if you want to see like random memes, song mashups, and stuff like that. Check out Robot Nelson if you want to see replays of my friends and I playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And hopefully, I can upload replays of me and my friends playing Multiverses on there, if Multiverses does have replays, which I hope it does. And yeah, links for everything will be in the description below, and I will see you later, Awesomites. Goodbye!